Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will introduce how to use a Delta X codices software to do a simulation and trace function. Scenario is uh, when you don't have any controller or server drive but you want to do the program testing or you want to learn the basic function of codices then you can use the simulation and trace function. Then uh, how to enable simulation function so you can see we click the online and select a simulation tag and how to add trace so we can go to the application then uh, click add the object after that we uh, add the trace then come to uh, trace configuration so here you can see uh, we have to assign the task the task can be either EtherCAD task or main task. This one just depends on what uh, data you want to monitor. And today's uh, example, we use the EtherCAD to monitor the position and velocity. So here we will select uh, EtherCAD. And then uh, for the advanced setting, here you can see uh, we have the interval time is uh, 4 milliseconds so this one is based on the EtherCAD master DC time okay so this one is actually based on the EtherCAD master cycle time here and then you can uh, select the sampling uh, buffer size so this one is the default value and definitely if you want more you can increase the value Come to the uh, last portion, uh, we how to add on the variable and download trace. So you can see we can add the variable. So today's example, we uh, will show you uh, set position, actual position, uh, set velocity, and actual velocity. After that, uh, we can uh, click download trace. And one more thing is uh, for the B3 resolution we define 16772161 uh, uh, here so if we give one let me uh, one unit uh, motor will rotate one turn okay so let's back to the program uh, here we use a uh, two function block first one is a uh, MC power means to servo on the servo drive and second is a uh, move relative then we can add down the trace and as I mentioned here we click and select the EtherCAM task and this is advanced function as I mentioned you can add down the value okay after that uh, we can click the add variable Uh, remember here we use the B3E so uh, model name is B3E so we find the uh, folder of B3E and we can find a uh, set position then we add on of uh, actual position means the feedback Then we add on the set velocity. It's actually you can copy from here. So we oh, we add on one more and use the actual velocity. Okay, after that we can uh, go simulation, online, login. And then we can download a trace. And you might wonder why we define four variable but only one uh, channel. So you can click here and select uh, convert to multi-channel. Then we can go to the uh, sorry program. 
and we do our savon and we can define the value distance we define Okay, after uh, assign this value, then we click the uh, trigger and write. So here you can see now it does start to record the uh, moving path of servo. Then we can start the trace. And zoom in. Then we can uh, use the uh, cursor, so you can check the speed and position. Okay, so uh, for the command we give uh, to one hundred, so eventually it will reach uh, one hundred, and we can see you can see the maximum speed is uh, ten. So let's back to program and check. So you can see the velocity we define here is a 10 unit, okay? So that's all for uh, today's uh, introduction. Thank you.